celebrities that come to mind, bowling would likely be far down on that list. But tonight, the Razorbacks and Rebels will be doing just that. The Las Vegas Bowl, no other place they'd rather be. Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Arkansas out of the SEC, UNLV out of the Mountain West in the ninth annual Las Vegas Bowl. Hi, everybody, and good evening. Alongside Todd Christensen, I'm Steve Levy. Thoughts from Heather Cox in just a little bit. Both of these schools at one point were four and five. They're playing their best football down the stretch to get here. UNLV only the third bowl all time, but they do have a bowl savvy coach in John Robinson, seven and one as head coach of a bowl team. And I think a lot of people are aware of John Robinson, the coach at USC, and then of course later the great coach for the Los Angeles Rams. But something they're probably not aware of is the John Robinson, who in a mere two seasons has taken a team that was 0 and 11, and now 7 and 5 in a bowl game. A large reason for that, of course, is the tremendous quarterback that he has at his disposal in Jason Thomas. You can see the terrific numbers that he has put up. He's going to be a treat to watch this evening. I think I think he's a West Coast, even larger version of Michael Vick. All right, we shall see. As for Arkansas, this will be their 31st all-time bowl, bowl game. But Houston Nutt, their head coach, is only the third in Razorback history to lead the team to a bowl game in his first three seasons. And here in the third season, Steve, you mentioned the 4-5 and five record. Time, he conceded to us the idea that it was not, the honeymoon go, was indeed over. But the reason for him getting to that third bowl game welcome. is because of the great Actually, wide receiver that they have. Academy, their bruiser, 6'4", 235-pound Boo Williams. His numbers would have been even gaudier than that had he not been thrown to by four different quarterbacks. Arkansas looking to win consecutive bowl games and consecutive seasons for the first time since 77-78. We are just about set to go from Las Vegas. We'll have the opening kickoff on the way. The Las Vegas Bowl on ESPN2 is coming up next. Arkansas Razorbacks just about set to take the field here for the Las Vegas Bowl, and here they come. Back on November 11th, they lost at Tennessee, blown out 63 to 20. Their worst loss in some 80 years. At that point, they certainly didn't look much like a bowl team. Staring four and five right in the face, and possibly four and seven. And UNLV. They are the home team, as you would expect. They will have the home crowd advantage. Perfect Sam Boyd Stadium this season. They had to be perfect down the stretch, for sure. Winning their last three games, including two on the road. We're trying to make some change here in Sin City. A lot of people wondered why a legendary coach like John Robinson would return to the college game at the age of 65. But before he took the UNLV job, he spent about a year trying to decide his next steps. In fact, he thought he might want a front office job with the NFL. So he spent four days in Washington with his good friend, Norv Turner. He said on day one, he was in the, in the background, not at all involved. But by day four, he said he was telling Norv how to coach. So on the plane ride home, he decided coaching was where he wanted to be. But he was a little bit worried. He said the problem is the longer you've been a coach, the more it's like games because their schedule needed seven wins to become bowl eligible. They did it in style. Starting on November 11th, a Jason Thomas to Nate Turner touchdown pass with 18 seconds left. That beat New Mexico. Next game at San Diego State, Amar Briscoe returned an interception, 72 yards for a score in the final minute to break a tie, giving UNLV the win. And then needing just one more win at Hawaii, the defense rallying, stopping a game-tying two-point conversion attempt in the final two minutes from four. There's 12 tackles for loss and eight sacks. Junior college transfer from right up the road in St. George, Utah. That is Dixie College. They give him a pickup of four on the play, bringing up a second down and six. And the pass, first pass attempt of the afternoon is complete, and it's a good gain 
to Boo Williams, the receiver. 15 yards, a first down and more. They go to three wide receiver set, which is the way they opened up. Arkansas leading 7-0. First possession for UNLV. And Thomas under pressure, and he's going to go down. J.J. Jones on the sack. There's going to be a lot of pressure on the offensive line this game for UNLV. And initially, it would have been hope for the sake of John Robinson and the Rebels that Thomas could have got off to a good start. But instead, the pursuit is tremendous by Arkansas. And here's an interesting stat, Steve, coming into this game. Arkansas, with only 13 sacks the entire season. So it's not like they're a sack-happy group. And you would have thought that a mobile quarterback like that would have got away. But not the first time. Arkansas is right there. Loss of seven, so a fourth and 24. An obvious punt situation for Ray Chitani. And Chitani under some pressure to get it away, and it's a dandy spiraling kick that is fumbled and recovered. Stephen Harris for Arkansas recovered at the 45 and our third flag of the football game after the 50-yard punt by Chitani. Should be upset with himself, not only dropping the ball, but realizing that he had a lot of room because the 50-yarder had indeed outkicked his coverage. But maybe with this penalty, it's going to be a moot point anyway. Backs will take over. Say here, team to team, would you, Steve? Absolutely. Arkansas over Christensen. Heather Cox from the Sam Boyd Stadium, the Las Vegas Bowl. As you look at John Robinson, the nation's eighth winningest active head. Here's Thomas under pressure. He's brought down again. This time at the 35-yard line, Tony Boa on the stop. And let's go down to the sideline and rejoin Heather Cox. Well, guys, I talked to Arkansas co-defensive coordinator Bobby Allen yesterday about containing Thomas. He said they'll defend him like they would another tailback. And when they pass rush, they'll keep contained thoughts, keep him in the pocket. Arkansas does not want to let him get outside and create. They want to keep him off guard. In fact, at times, they may assign a rover or a spy to him. They feel if they contain the rushing yards, they'll be in a position for success. So far, so good. Back to you. Steve, I'm really surprised at this point in the 35-yard line, fourth and five with that great quarterback. They're punting it away. Chitani boots it, and let's see where it bounces. And a great bounce for UNLV. It goes out at the four-yard line. And that's where Arkansas will take over with their 7-0 lead. Todd, you know, if you're in the that's a likely one. Could be in there. Check it out. On first and 10 from the three-yard line. Rod Stinson is the ball, as well as a lot of yards. So on second down and six, here's Thomas with time. Throwing corner to the end zone. Touchdown! It's Nate Turner. Great concentration. The 11th touchdown catch of the season. And we're an extra point away from a tie game. And what great arm strength on the part of Thomas as he goes to fake the handoff. He's actually dropping back still as he throws the ball. This young man, this 604, 264, 240 pounder, number two's got a gun for an arm. Into keeping this football game here in Las Vegas, and we certainly hope that they're successful in that endeavor. They're going to have to re-kick now after the flag on the previous kickoff as you get a good look inside Sam Boyd Stadium. They weren't coming into this bowl game. Brings up a third down and 11. Here's Hampton. Steps up. Throws. Touchdown! Great body position there by Boo Williams. Kevin Thomas was right there, but Williams played it perfectly. Well, again, you pointed it out, Steve, and that's the great job he does with his body, and that's why the pro scouts are going to like this man, Kevin Thomas. Heather Cox, Todd Christensen, Steve Levy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Good luck at the strip, some 10 miles away from Sam Boyd. Hoping that never gets to that situation is Thomas. 